Alright, welcome back guys to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. This is Hydraxide 530, Luigi Galaxy 530 as I was back when we actually did this game. And uh, we're going to continue off after about a year of me not doing this for no good reason. I don't even know why. But anyways, let's go ahead and get ourselves ready to uh, battle what's going on within the in the mayor's house. Master Mayor B, it's him. He's the one that took the girl from us. Oh, now, aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me that you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Brian or something? I so don't like saying this, but we are not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. Murica. A sweet young thing. She can see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That will ju that just will not do for what we're planning to do. No, it won't do at all. If you don't like pain like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it needn't be. Boys, oh boys. Yes, yes we will. Boys, I shall make my return back to Pirate Town now. Do remember that I'll be waiting for you to return with the little lady. Am I making myself clear? I won't accept failure from you again, boys. For ho ho! Let the music spin! Let's get it on! Best song in the game. All right, now we are going to be battling Folly here. Let's just hope his, this battle won't be a Folly like it was last time. And he leads out with a Whismur and a Lotad. And you know, Espeon and Umbreon are still here. I am not going to be using Umbreon. They both now have a bold nature because I had to restart my save file in general. So let's let's target one and get rid of it, and then we'll take care of the rest. Alright, oh, well, Espeon can just take out everything in one hit. You know, you know, we don't need a. I guess we don't need anything. I'm still kind of deciding on what I should use on my team. I already have three members thought up. And the critical hit to make this battle last a, a total of one turn. Well, that was easy. Wish battles like this happened every time. Now, oh, blast it. I got tripped up again. And we get 520 Poké Dollars for winning. Now it's time for the other one. I'm not gonna end up like Folly. Well, Trudley may should not make a Folly if he doesn't want to end up like Folly. Huh. I know Duskulls are defensive, so I don't think Umbreon's gonna be able to take it out. Even though this was before the physical special split. And Spinarak's gonna go down in one hit. Duskull's gonna take one for his team. And that's it for Spinarak. So we know not to use Espeon and Poison types if we ever catch them. And we have Makuhita level 30. That's the highest level. And what is this? Brian! It's that one. It's that Pokemon. Those jerks captured me because I saw that Pokemon. I can see a black aura coming from it. They must have done something to that Pokemon. And then it punches me. I don't even want to know where it just punched me. That's gotta be painful. It's hurting even thinking about it. I know, Brian, I hate to say this, but there's no other choice. Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys. Please, you have to. You can. Actually, only you can do it. I don't know about that. Alright, Makuhita, which is a very good, uh, attacker with lots of HP but it's very very slow 
I don't recommend it unless you just want to have a very tanky attacker. Especially when it evolves into Hariyama when it gets extremely high attack and extremely, well not really extremely high attack, but really good attack and extremely high HP. Which can create some havoc whenever, you know, it has a lot of, whenever it needs to uh, take a lot of hits because, you know, they're, it'll take a lot of hits for you and then with cross chop and focus energy or scope lens you can just rake havoc. And does Dusk go out one hit? No. If Umbreon had a modest nature then things would be different. Why is it using Nightshade? 25 HP, well maybe on Espeon it can do a good fit. But all Espeon's gotta do is breathe on him. Now let's see if I can get the uh, paralysis and whatnot. So I know this room gives you paralysis because uh, this is my second take on doing this because I didn't like the first take of it. And also I forgot to mention here is the bio of Makuhita. All right, so let's weaken up Makuhita. Let's see what he uses. Vital throw, ooh. Be glad Umbreon has a bold nature. Now Espeon, I want you to reflect on this turn. Reflect on what you've done. Nah, just kidding, it's just gonna be uh, raising our defense up so it can't hurt us as bad. Creating Espeon as a high attacker slash synergist is a really good idea. Please paralysis, please paralyze. Yes! So this battle just got a lot easier, and that's- okay good, he missed. Now let's start chucking the balls at it. You know what? Since I have these, and I have no plans on using them. By the way, you can keep your Pokeballs by doing this, but I will not be using this glitch. And here we go. Get the Premier Ball out. I just wanted to show you guys what the glitch actually is in case you wanted to use it. Technically by doing this you can actually have infinite of any kind of ball so all you have to do is buy one timer ball and you have infinite. But I won't be abusing that, that's not right. Well what? My Pokemon! Alright. Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed. Oh man, what are we supposed to do? We got flattened again. Mirror B is going to chew us out. What do we do? What is there to do? Run away! You did it, Brian. You stagged that Pokemon from that goon. But I'm sure there are others like it. Let's get all of them back from the bad guys. Misty says. Alright, let's go. Now you'll see these guys guarding over here like this guy right here but I will not be battling him yet I'm going to show that there are two more like him like this one over here which is Rosso and this one over here which is Bluno the thing about these guys are uh, they have the Johto starters as you'll see right here Alright, Krokonov, who has very high attack and defense, okay special defense and HP, but not that good of attack, a special attack and speed. But when it evolves into Feraligator, it's still kind of a more of a jack of all trades with higher attack and defense, but not, uh, but but less than par special attack, speed, and okay. HP and special defense although in this game it does no surf so that might be a good thing for it and then we have Quillava who's basically your standard special attack and speed special sweeper sort of thing but when it especially when it evolves into Typhlosion when it gets a lot of special attack and speed but not really much else although it does after a while learn like it does learn, you can teach it Fire Blast and wreak havoc. You can create a Sun Team with Solar Beam. 
And in later games, unless it is actually in this game because I didn't have a Typhlosion up to level 70, it actually learns Eruption in the later games. But for this game, it's a good special attacker. It can be used with Fire Blast and Wreak Havoc. It does have Flame Wheel at the start instead of like Flamethrower, which kind of not that impressive in my opinion. Bayleaf, who's very tanky and unfortunately doesn't have sleep powder anymore because it learns it before you actually before level 30 and there is no move relearner when it evolves into meganium <laughs> it keeps those defensive really defensive traits about it and has 80 stats across the board except for defense and special defense which are at 100 even at both sides sunny day solar beam is a good strategy teaching it or keeping the synthesis giving it toxic maybe will do a good idea and then just basically just keep it as like a tanky sort of thing but you can unfortunately it doesn't learn any grass type moves in this game except for the ones learned by TMs and solar beam at level 60 so I would recommend you get the solar beam TM as soon as possible whenever you use Bayleaf alright now we're going to go get we're gonna face Verde to get the second member of my team. This one's already decided. I I'm going to be using Bayleaf because it's the most underappreciated of all the Johto starters. So let's get this started. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not about to let you pass. Or do you have this idea that you can take me in a battle? First, I want to heal. Completely forgot I want to heal. Cause as Umbreon is not going to be a part of my team and I'm not keeping it in my party. I'm going to have a team of five shadow Pokemon throughout the beginning of the game. Since he's not going to be a part of my party, I'm going to just get rid of him. But we're going to keep him in the party until we have six Pokemon. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. Alright, we got a white ball and two red ones. That sounded completely wrong, but we'll, be, we'll go with it. And it's not supposed to sound racist, it just sounded wrong. Anyways, we'll go... We'll go over here and, uh... Start attacking this guy right here. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not about to let you pass. Or you have this idea that you can take me into battle. Yes, we do! Wahaha, who's gonna beat me? You are? Don't be crying out of regret later. Mystery Troop Verde, Spanish for green, I believe. Rosso is, is it Italian for red? And blue, no, I don't know. Something for blue. But Verde is Spanish for green. How long have I been recording? Eleven minutes. We'll probably do a couple more battles after this and uh, end it off. I'm going to try to take out whatever he has first. Or I'm going to take out all of his normal Pokemon first. It's the best strategy is to uh, take out the normal Pokemon before you try to uh, battle him down. Anyways, Bayleaf, we're going to have the bio of it show up right now after this turn. And the luck of the... It's not good on a Espeon, but it's good for what we're trying to do. I actually will heal up Espeon after this turn. Anyways, here's the bio of Bayleaf. Alright, let's get back into this battle. I will confuse it, then paralyze heal because I give you two of each. Get rid of paralysis on Espeon. So it doesn't have any issues in moving. Now you can see, by the fact that Espeon is really specially attack oriented, and that not doing much to it, that this thing is very defensive as a Pokemon. And I believe actually Shadow Pokemon, like when you're trying to catch them, actually have better defenses as well, because I notice that I do less damage to a Shadow Pokemon than I do to a regular Pokemon. I don't know about it, but 
Let's try catching it. By the way, this is also the first time you ever get to try to catch a Pokemon in the a starter Pokemon in the wild. Until Pokemon X and Y when you, you can use the friend safari. So we're gonna try to catch it in something weird. Even though I shouldn't. Watch me catch it, because I don't want to use a premier ball on it actually. And also you saw that my ball count didn't go down. I'm going to catch it, aren't I? Yep. So your first ever time having a starter in a repeat ball. And we defeated Mystery Troop Verde. Anyways, we will go on in a... We're gonna go after this, we're gonna go battle the trainer that's around uh, Finac City to, you know, get the experience. Oh, that? It's a Pokemon that we turn into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. No, you didn't. You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? Hmm. Knowing that's not gonna help you do anything. Then he runs away. We could give chase. I know, when I was little I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling together with it. Brian, let's go. They pro those guys probably headed for Pry Pyrite Town. After all, it was in Pyrite Town that they captured me. Well, we'll do that a little bit later, but first, is there anything back here? No. But there is something over here. I do know that. Three super potions, right? Yep. And that's not a good thing that I actually know that. Nude. Anyways, we will go battle all of the trainers we can over here. Starting with this roller boy right here. Nah, I better heal first. Heck. And now we shall go face children that wear roller skates. Anyways, there are battles like this that are around Finac City. Which actually, Finac is actually named after Finacia, which is a stone, which, like every other city in this game, pretty much, is going to be named after stones. Like Pyrite, Finac, stuff like that. We're almost getting close to uh, getting Makahita's first gauge down. On a. Uh, Pokemon with Dark Aura is a gauge. If you knock it down one stage, you get its first move. I believe the second stage is nature and experience, I think. Or second stage is nature, third stage is experience, I think. And then fourth stage and fifth stage are second and third moves. Oh, wait, no. It's first is uh, first move, then second is. Second is a. Uh, Nature and experience, and then third and fourth are the last two moves, and fifth is just to unlock the final walk. Until you can, can, until you can get it back to normal. But we cannot do that for a while. Probably didn't need to bring it up now, but oh, well. I don't like how he's not going into hyper mode that often. And that's it for this battle. It's nice to have a Shadow Pokemon out because you don't have to go through two people's experiences or two Pokemon's experiences. So, now that we've beaten him, he will give us TM41, which I believe is Torment. It's not really that good of a move, to be honest. Yeah. So, we're going to go battle a second trainer over here. Is she a trainer? What's all this Pokemaniacs think of his battling? No, it's this guy right here. So, we're going to battle this old man, fun old man, Drig. And we get Rider Willy music, which is awesome. <laughs> Couldn't tell this is like morning time whenever I'm recording, so my voice may be a bit lower and stuff. So, now we have uh, Makuhita's first gauge down. Now he will know another move that he used to have, which uh, right here is Focus Energy, which we don't need for a two Pokemon battle. So we're going to just take these guys out. 
Ah, oh, well, take more than two turns to take out something. No, no. By the way, a nice thing in this game is... With sleep, you never need awakenings and that face looks hilarious. Okay. So, we'll take out Centric and call Makuhita. Now it's back awake. Yeah, awakenings are now useless. Completely useless. I will, I'll admit that uh, it is kind of annoying to deal with sleep regardless because you do have to waste a turn to heal up or call, I should say. But, you don't need awakenings in this game. You can sell the ones that you have now. I guess that they can be useful for uh, when you are when you're out in the field and you need to heal up your Pokemon from sleep, which I don't recommend doing that on the field. I just recommend going to a Pokemon Center if you're out in the field. By going back. And there we go, hyper mode. And Centric does not like to hit itself whenever I confuse it. It's annoying. So we will just completely take it out right now. Take out Sentry with the confusion and then call Makuhita. Because that'll make his heart gauge go down drastically. And here we are. That's the final hit of the battle. Because I know Sentry's not going to live through a confusion after it took almost. You know, almost got one shotted by one. And Espeon's almost level 27. But yeah, I have a plan for my team. Well, somewhat for my team depending on the situation that I already have a alright so now I will take another challenge which will be our final challenge for today and first we're going to go heal here I probably don't need to heal for what I'm about to do you know what let's just end off the video for now So, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time when we do the final things in Fennac and hopefully go to Pirate Town.